that the young Florida star has put the United States back on top of the world with this emphatic win. One, two, three, four. Whenever I have D-Rob in the race, I'll be honest with you, I know it ain't gonna be easy. I think that's the reason why I am where I am today. Without Daniel, I don't think I would have won my 2019 title. Without Daniel, there would be no 735 at the time of the American record. Without Daniel, there would be no 1298 collegiate record that still stands. Dang, me and Grant have been boys since my freshman year of college. Um, we raced once in high school at like New Balance Nationals. And then once I got to Kentucky, obviously he was at the University of Florida. It's SEC, so we're racing each other weekly. Daniel and I's relationship has definitely blossomed over the years. From 2019 to, to really now, it's been nothing but <laughs> fun, honestly. He brings out the best of me, I bring out the best of him. Definitely 2019, I, I'll be honest with you, I thought it was gonna be an easy run in the NCAA. I feel like I lost the race at SECs to uh, Big Bro Daniel, because I didn't execute. So the goal was just come out here, execute, and um, make it to Austin. Why do you think you didn't execute at SEC? Something happened in between the rounds? Hey, we're all human, right? We all make mistakes, so. On my part, I made a mistake. Went back to practice on Monday, motivated. I'm the underdog now. Without Daniel, there'll be no 1298 collegiate record that still stands. They both were coming in with a best of 13.07 seconds, the second best time in NCAA history from both of them. Roberts managed to run 13.06 in the prelims. In the finals, we wanted to see this matchup and they delivered. We saw Grant Holloway take the win, just edging it out in 12.98 seconds, an NCAA record, breaking that 40-year-old NCAA record in the 110 hurdles. Roberts was not far behind though. He also tied the NCAA record with 13 flat so great performances from both these guys men's 110 meter hurdles no callbacks here so roberts who was second to holloway at the ncaa championships turns the table and this time roberts gets the national title cleanly away brilliant start from grant holloway who's blurst out the blocks also going well is daniel roberts these two the young americans going stride for stride coming through daniel roberts is he going to get it yes he is Lane three, Daniel Roberts, the 21-year-old, the US champion, wow. Without Daniel, I don't think I would have won my 2019 title. I think that Grant Holloway represents the change in US hurdling tonight. Because I'll be honest with you, going into that race, I was, I was burnt out and Daniel, he had just tapped my ass twice, <laughs> going into <laughs> both previous races. So he was definitely on my mind. But obviously everybody knows Daniel fell out. I think that was a year that Daniel could have really made a stride for himself, but obviously circumstances came upon. But I think that's the reason why I am where I am today. 2022 in Monaco, he wasn't gonna bring his wife or his girlfriend at the time, his wife now, Gabrielle. And I was like, bro, like bring her, like who cares? So he brought her, we went on a yacht, had the best time of our life. I got drunk, Daniel doesn't drink, so he supported me. So we had fun, and I think that was really like the, the turning point in our relationship. We just got close, it just became my brother. And now we push each other. Obviously he's doing his thing, but I feel like I'm getting back in the rhythm of who I am and running the way that I know I can run. So it's, it's a great relationship. I love competing against him. He's a great competitor as always. But uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a different year. As their story continues to unfold, Daniel Roberts and Grant Holloway travel to Boston to compete in what might be the most competitive season opener of any track and field event. Oh, your yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah. I just saw the camera. Okay. I'm, like, I'm here, girl. We're trying to sneak away from the camera. <laughs> Travel was good. Um, had a connection, but nothing crazy. Short flight. So we're here now. We made it. Yeah. I'm excited to get things going. Gotta get him some food now. Tomorrow, we got an interview. We got pre-meet, it's just like a little shakeout, light practice, and then you wake up Sunday and it's race day, man. You gotta lock in, so nothing too crazy. Easy weekend, short in and out trip, but I'm, I'm definitely excited for sure. We got a lot for you guys. <laughs> I feel like the first day of school with Thai vibes, like, 
back in high school. First meet, we back, seeing everybody again that we've been seeing all last year on the circuit and all that, the different meets. I don't know, obviously you have the nerves going to the first meet, always. But once you get here and see all your <laughs> friends and stuff, you, and people that you built relationships with, I don't know, it's just fun. It's, that's the best part of Chuck to me, like the relationship that you build from traveling literally the world. So it's it's great for me every time. That's that's definitely a, a huge bonus. Huge bonus. I was jamming to my gospel rap playlist, but when I put it on the speaker, I like to put my old school vibes. Some chill. Why give me hurdling? I don't like hurdling with my headphones on. That's why I gotta put on the speaker. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Feeling good, feeling quick, feeling bouncy. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Spike up, do some some three point starts, and then get in the box. Go over one till it feels good, maybe once or twice, and then probably hit three. That's about it. Depending on how it feels, maybe once or twice for that too. So no more than like four block starts today. Just keep it light. It's pre meet day since I run tomorrow, so don't want to do too much for sure. But just enough to get active and to feel good on the track, feel confident going into tomorrow. Setup was good. I feel like I drove well for those first four. I just gotta keep running through that first one. But I mean, it's only one up, so that happens sometimes. I'm about to go over three now and just focus on running through it. Run through the hurdle, getting down and keep running. Watch out, watch out. I'm watching guys. Sorry. It wasn't horrible, but yeah, gotta fit the shoulders to one. And even for coming up a little bit. Getting ready to do this interview, bro. With me, uh, Grant, and Trey. Just like a, I don't know, leading up into the meet tomorrow. I like the fit, though. What y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, bro. Should I model or what? Goals for this meet, I would say, is to just execute the things that coach has been telling me in practice. Um, obviously, I want to win. Obviously, I want to run fast and all of those things, but that'll come long term. Um, coach is always telling me the goal is Olympic trials and Olympics. So this whole indoor season, like while I want to do really good things, I want to make sure I'm progressing the way that we need to to set up for Olympic trials at the end of the day. The focus for me is 100% long term Olympic team, make that team. Obviously, I'm not going to just come out here and let these cats win, but the goal is 100% Olympic trials. Trey said it best. It's like every time we line up, it's, it's close to a world championship final, if not a semifinal. But when yeah. it comes to personal life and documents, that's not me. I mean, I'm going to leave that to Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> so, if you want to look at the history books, the the three fastest people in the 60 meter hurdles that are currently competing are competing at this meet. So, the three fastest people in the sport right now. I ain't gonna hold you, but this, this meet is deep. You got literally everyone right now. <laughs> it's something I've, I've not seen before, so I'm excited to, you know, be in a field of legitimately some of the a lot of the best hurdlers in the world and be a part of it, so it's gonna be fun. I don't mind things like that. I feel like that makes me run faster, it gets me more juiced up, and it just prepares me for the bigger meets long term, like the US trials, when you for real gotta go against the top guys and when it really matters. And then obviously the Olympics, all those rounds against the top people in the whole world. So meets like this prepare me in ain't no ain't no shame in starting early. First meet just go all in at this point. <laughs> if you look at the field. Let's just go down the lanes. Obviously, you got myself, you got Daniel, you got Trey, you got Cordell Tench. 
those four names that I just say most likely are going to be the four people continuing to get on this Olympic team. If I'm not mistaken, only three make the team. That means somebody has to go. Lay your hand on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings, there's going to be miracles, there's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles, there's going to be some challenges, there's going to be some tests, but even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. You fight way harder than those other guys, you win. You get out from under. You can take it. You can make it. Roberts finally broke through and got a bronze medal last year at Worlds when Holloway won his third in a row. And Roberts and Holloway's rivalry goes back to their SEC days. Roberts ran at Kentucky, Holloway at Florida. And oh, by the way, Cunningham, Florida State, there's always a rivalry there. No question about that. So you see four of the best Americans right across each other, three to six. Remember, only three get to go to the Olympics. And in this final, Roberts maybe a slightly ahead of Holloway. Now Holloway to the lead and is extending his lead to the line. And a quick one as he is pushed to a very quick 7.35. And the streak survives as he takes down a very good field with a new meet record and the fastest time in the world this year. I always told Dan we use this word called restoration. And restoration, if you don't know the definition of it, is the act of restoring, basically. And at the time, American hurling was weak. Like, we didn't, we won't do anything. So, you know, for me, it was just like me and Daniel was, you know, we were the, we were the answer. Everybody was looking for it, and I think it was definitely in us. We always try to compare, but we always know that comparison is, is a thief of joy. Daniel's role, he can't compare to mine, you know. He has... In his struggle, there's always beauty in my struggle that people don't know about in my own story, which I'll never do anything like this, so props to Daniel. But like in my story, there's, there's, there's beauty too. So, you know, Daniel is telling his story, which is, you know, an amazing thing. Had two rounds today. First round ran a 7.51, I believe, 7.51. Saw the race, it's okay, I got out pretty well. Hurling wasn't the best, but came back, relaxed a little bit, um, got some treatment got ready, geared up for the second round, the final pretty much. Um, just trying to focus on getting out well again, um, but wanted to execute a little better in the hurdles. So the start was really good. I got out well through number one, but my trail leg is still lagging a bit. So I'm, I'm working on that, trying to get it down. I mean, I still ran a 749, which is equals my, uh, I guess excuse me, that's my first race, but equals the time I ran last year for my opener as well. So last year was a great year, indoors and outdoors. So I'm not mad with it at all. I just know there's a whole lot of more work to do, a whole lot more we can get out of these seven steps. So that's what me and Coach Johnson are working on right now. I hope y'all follow along. Let me know what else y'all want to see, anything like that, any type of videos, topics, whatever it is, like, comment, and share for your boy. Love y'all. A lot has been, I don't want to say taken, but a lot has been taken from Daniel in a sense where he's, you know, finally getting the hang of it and he's gonna, it's only a matter of time until we see literally the rise of D-Rob again. Like it's only a matter of time.